Ever since I've been working in the world of football, I've been collecting items of personal memory along the way. And recently I've decided to log them all in a museum, online museum, for want of a better word. And it is a personal collection, but I know people like memorabilia and the stories behind it. So I decided to post it on my website so that anyone can have a look if they're interested. Anyway, I've got six seasons of team sheets now sorted and I'm just going to show you five of them that hold special memories for me personally. First of all, as you can see, I keep them in uh, folders there so they remain nice and neat and they don't get creased. The first one is the New Saints versus Real and this was on the 29th of August 2014. I turned up a park hall. I'd been there as a fan before, but this was my very first time on the brand new fledgling radio show called TNS Radio, where we do match day commentary and chat. And it has developed so much over the years, but that was the very first one. I was given a team sheet and I thought to myself, you can't throw it away, you have to keep it. And little did I realize not only was I beginning a journey that would change my whole life, but also I was beginning a memorabilia collection that as you can see behind has taken over the walls at home and I've got boxes as well full of the stuff. But you never know where life takes you, do you? And that very first program, Real, with the visitors to Park Hall, that's where it all began for me, not just with my memorabilia collection, but also my life being changed as well. And then, well, it moved on very quickly for me at TNS, like I was being fast-tracked because very, very soon afterwards, I was doing away games as well. And that was my first visit to Carnarvon in November the 30th, I thought it was, I wanted to check, the 30th of November 2014. And that was very special for me personally because the Welsh Cup is my favourite competition and that was my first Welsh Cup game with the New Saints. It was live on television as well and the wall came down. If you were there at that game or you follow Welsh football, you'll know all about that one. But that is very special to me because it was my first Welsh Cup game with the New Saints and a visit to Carnarvon. I really enjoyed that. And now, all these years later, many times I've been to the Oval, I still enjoy going there. Great support, great team, and they've certainly brought a breath of fresh air to the top flight of Welsh football, because at that stage, they were in the second tier. And then the third one, this was July 2015 and this of course is very special because it was my first Champions League game. As you can see there just a, an ordinary team sheet, nothing special about that one but I was in the Faroe Islands where the New Saints took on B36 Torshaw in the Champions League qualifying round of course and that was great. Who would have thought just a short time earlier that I would be there commentating on a Champions League game in the Faroe Islands. Again, you never know where life takes you. I loved the visit to the Faroe Islands. It was a good result as well. We beat B36 Torshaw over two legs and we progressed into the next round. But that will always be a special memory for me. I've done numerous Champions League and Europa League games since then, but the first one is always special. And then we move on, staying in Europe though, this time it's the Europa League and it's August 2018 and it was a visit to Gibraltar where we took on Lincoln Red Imps. The season before, We'd played the champions of Gibraltar Europa. In fact, that's a signed shirt there from the Europa squad. We'd played them, but the ground in Gibraltar wasn't quite up to UEFA standards. So for one season, Gibraltarian sides had to play elsewhere. And on this occasion, we played in 
Portugal in the Algarve. So it was great to go there and be at a magnificent uh, stadium in Portugal. But Gibraltar was one of those places that I'd always wanted to go to. Ever since I saw a Wales game there or a Wales squad with the rock behind them, it was a photograph. It was under 15s, I think, or 17s, 18s, something like that. And I saw the picture and I thought, I want to go to a football game, working at a football game in Gibraltar. And that was it. We had a great time there. I love being in Gibraltar. It's a fantastic place. Great people. Made some great friends over there. And I always take my binoculars with me when I travel overseas with the New Saints. And I saw my first black wheat here. Well, my only black wheat here as well. It's all about making the most of every opportunity, isn't it? That's a principle in life in general. And then the the fifth team sheet this brings us a little bit more up to date april 2019 and this was an under 18s game between wales and scotland and i was asked if i would go and commentate on that particular game so there was me and a cameraman he was doing all the filming and i was doing the commentary for that particular game and again that was another one of those moments where I thought to myself, who would have realised all those years ago that one day I would be there commentating on an international game, albeit at under 18 level. Well, I've been involved in a number of international games since then, as well as European games. All great memories. They're special memories for me, of course, but I think memories are great because as we get older, we move on in life, we look back and we can treasure those experiences that we've been through. Today's experiences are tomorrow's memories. Well, that's my team sheets up to date anyway, and I'll just add to them as I go to games from now on. I've got a lot of other things to catch up on as well, but lots of hard work, but it will be certainly a labour of love.